Hey guys, welcome back to my thrifting series on IGTV and YouTube, depending on which channel you're watching it from. And I thought I would take you all along with me. I'm actually going to an estate sale in Chattanooga and gonna check out some thrift stores while I'm there too. And also on my way, I'm gonna be stopping by the post office because I had another sale on our Etsy shop, Edison's Place. These are some retro salt and pepper shakers and a sugar and creamer set from the 70s, so super cool. And then I also got an order for some hand towels, so I'm gonna package those up when I get back. So Chattanooga is about an hour and 50 minutes from Knoxville, so I'm gonna top off my gas before I hit the road. And I've got some sweet tea to uh, keep me uh, perked up on the drive. Okay, so I'm finally in Chattanooga. Just got here to the sale. So I'm leaving the estate sale in Chattanooga and I got all this, got a huge bag full of towels, vintage clothes, so I am very excited. Okay, so I'm back from Chattanooga now and made pretty good time. And I'm gonna show you what I found at this estate sale. I had a whole bag full of stuff. First is this little change purse. I thought it was really cool. It's got these little plastic beads on it. Clip-on earring set. These are really, really cool. These are probably, they're made in Western Germany, so they're probably from about the 60s, 70s, but those would look really cute with a retro dress. Um, and then these are made in Japan, and they are yellow clip-on, so those are really cool. Also, most of this stuff is going to be listing on Edison's Place, our Etsy shop, so stay tuned for that. Um, these are the only things that I'm keeping. I thought these were really neat. They're just like trouser-type socks, and they're really well-made. They're kind of like hand-knit, but I wear these colors a lot, so those are the only things that will be staying with me found this. This is probably a 1970s shirt, but it's really pretty rust color. It's polyester, so I love it. I love everything polyester, but it's got this really neat um, neckerchief kind of detail on it. It would look really cute with like a skirt or um, high-waisted pants. And this. I don't know about you, but I really like polka dots on stuff, and I saw this shirt and I had to have it but it has all these really big buttons and it has this really awesome uh, pocket right here on the front. So I just love the colors of it. Those were both women's shirts. This is a man's shirt and it's vintage Kmart. So, I mean, you see that tag right there. That is old. That is probably 60s, 70s. This is Towncraft brand and it's orange. It's a Vintage JCPenney. I just had a mustard yellow one sell in the store not too long ago. But it's a really pretty orange color. And then got this green one. It says alpaca knit, so it's very old. It's the campus brand. And I like the buttons on it. Not done yet. <laughs> that seems like a lot, but there's actually more. Um, I have a thing for vintage um, towel sets and home decor type stuff, so I'm always keeping an eye out for that. And I found this towel set. This is really neat. Really cool pattern. So I also went to a couple Goodwills while I was in the Chattanooga area and I found a few things there also. This dress, which 
almost looked, it could pass as modern, but when you have it in your hands, you can tell it's polyester and it's got the old zipper and hook in the back. But it's really cool. Really excited to find this. This is a vintage JCPenney sweater. See the old tag there. And I don't know, I'm calling this a sunflower sweater because it just reminds me of a sunflower, just the colors in it. It's really neat. It's a blast from the past. I don't know if anyone who's watching this grew up in the 90s or even the 80s, but jelly shoes. These actually still have the tags on them and they, they just they smell like plastic as soon as you take them out of the bag. This is one of those afghans, but it's like a daisy chain afghan. It's really cool. So it'll look really neat with my um, chairs back here and my orange couch, which you can't see, but it's over there. Um, Cause it's kind of that style 60s, 70s. I will be listing these things on Edison's Place, our Etsy shop. So that's all for my haul from the Chattanooga State Sale and Goodwills that I went to. Um, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel if you're watching this on YouTube or on IGTV, like it, and leave me a comment on some of the things that you liked from this haul. And I guess that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.